Hello everyone. I am inside this investment property. It is a duplex with a spiral staircase in the middle of it. And I was just compelled to make this quick video. Um, there are some hundred door books right there. I am uh, selling this property for one of my investors and it just kind of dawned on me to make this quick video on maybe your first home really shouldn't be a home. Maybe it should be an investment property. And what I mean by that is, what if you bought a triplex or a fourplex instead, you lived in one of the units and your other three tenants paid your entire mortgage. And then in two years, you take out a little bit of money, you refi it out, and then you buy your first home, start your family, you kind of do everything backwards. So then you own an investment property first that you live in for free, then you buy your home. And so what I mean by you should be buying an investment property first. Probably the easiest way is to either get a duplex, a triplex, or a fourplex. You fall under regular financing. Um, you don't have to go, if it's five or above, it goes into commercial financing, which can be a little more tricky. Not impossible, and I highly suggest it. Um, it's a great way to kind of combat only one or two doors. The more doors you have, which is why I wrote the book right there, 100 doors, is the more doors you have, the easier it is to combat uh, vacancies and vacancy rate. So what you want is you want a building with as many people occupied as possible, which pays for the majority of the mortgage, expenses, and what's ever left over um, is your income, is cash flow. So it's an incredible way to basically build your real estate empire or your real estate play or game or however you want to do it. I mean, this doesn't have to be a full-time hustle for you. I know plenty of people that buy a building or a duplex or a fourplex or you know, a 10-unit building once every five years or even 10 years. If you save your money and you buy a building once every 10 years, you will have millions. I promise, especially as the market goes up and the market goes down, your tenants are still covering your mortgage for you. It is an incredible, incredible way to hedge the market. And the real estate market goes up and down, the stock market goes up and down, but if you look at the history of real estate, if you hold it for a long time or even a short period of time, you're going to make money. And I've proven this over and over and over again. Listen, I'm not the brightest character on the planet as a DNF student. What I've realized is the metrics and the numbers around real estate work. They make sense. They make sense for the 1% of the world. They also make sense for people that make 30 and 40,000 a year. You just have to really kind of change the way you look at it and think about it. So there's so many ways you can actually go into the real estate market. You could become a real estate agent yourself, find deals. You can kind of start with meetup groups and kind of start getting in to the flow of how maybe real estate might be a way for you to get in the game and invest that way. So there's a bunch of different strategies, a whole bunch of different things you can actually do. The easiest one is if you're 24, 25, and you're just getting out of college, or you're just trying to finish up your master's, and you're, maybe you're two years into your job, and you're like, look, I really want to buy a house right now where when this video is being made, it's 2017, almost, almost, uh, almost the fourth quarter. So the market's starting to like, all the writing's on the wall. So there's a correction coming. If you're prepared for it, you can make some great moves and make some pretty big scoops in the real estate market, especially if the market dips. You get into a property, maybe it's a four unit, you live in one, you have to pay rent anyways. Why not pay rent to yourself, right? And then have your tenants cover 80 to 90 to 100% of the mortgage. And then you can actually live somewhere for free. Trust me, going to your job is much easier when you're living for free. It's kind of like living at home still, <laughs> but your parents are paying your mortgage, uh, i.e. your tenants. So there's a lot of strategies here. I would love to explain more to you. If you go over to my YouTube channel, at Andy Dan Carter, I put up a bunch of free content on how to do this. If you go to my website, um, andydancarter.com, you can follow me on Instagram, at Andy Dane Carter, also on Facebook at Andy Dane Carter. Um, my book right there, 100 Doors, um, How to Create Wealth Through Cash Flow and Investment Real Estate is available on Amazon right now. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at andycarterrealty at gmail.com. That's my personal email and I will respond to you. I respond to everybody. So give me a call, DM me on Instagram, anything I can do to help. It's really important to me to get this information out there because I never had it. I just started buying real estate until my super early 30s 
And I, I just turned 40 this year and I wish I'd have started much earlier because the freedom it's created is life changing. So I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Right now it's Labor Day weekend and I will see you guys soon.